with some some negatives, but uh, I think with the new bike in the moment, the positives outweigh the negatives. I don't know whether it's faster than the old bike at the moment in general around the lap. I'm not talking in a straight line. Um, I mean in general, because we haven't had too much time to to work on a complete setup of. Uh, you know, engine braking and geometry, because the, the bike is a little different. So we have to play a little bit with the geometry more as well. But um, overall, we're, we're pleased. Um, we did most of the outings on that bike today. I think I did two outings on my old bike, uh, last year's bike, or this year's bike even. Um, and I was working hard, on, you know, on it, while Mark and Danny concentrated on their old bike more and did some small runs on the on the new one. So, um, but yeah. Overall, we're, uh, we're happy enough. Cal, final question now. We understand Olin's uh, brought some new front front forks. We understand you uh, you tried them. What, uh, what did you reckon? Um, no, I didn't try the new, new ones. I tried the uh, carbon sleeve ones. Um, and positives and negatives, you know. For my style, I, I, I break a lot into the corner, and it wasn't better in that area, but it was a lot better to turn in. So... Um, We'll look to continue to work with them in her F and see how we can uh, improve with them. Thank you very much, Cal. We just saw a quick glimpse of that interview taking place and Cal scoffing away whilst he was talking to Dylan there. He was, wasn't he? Dylan, uh, Dylan he, he needs to have his bottom checked for blooming uh, splinters, Cal. Talk about sitting on the fence there a little bit. He's not normally like that, was he? But uh, he was being pretty cagey. Only a couple of hints, really, about... Uh, the 2018 uh, prototype Honda, but he's going to be pretty happy with the way it's gone because Marquez Pedrosa and Cal Crutchlow on the new bike inside that top six and pretty comfortably inside that top six. And what can you say about this man? This is a guy who's won nine world championships. He's got more money in the bank than he can ever, ever even contemplate spending. He's 38 years of age and here he is with the sun setting on the final test in Valencia, out there, putting in the grind, putting in the hard yards. Desire and motivation for Valentina Rossi to try and make it work for next year for Yamaha. It's just unbelievable, Steve. Well, I think it's fair to say, Matt, that if Valentino Rossi was to decide after five, six Grand Prix next year that it, it, his time is up, then he can't say that he's not put all the effort in to try and make it work because this is what he's trying to do. He doesn't want to retire. That is not what he wants to do. He wants to be competitive so that he, he gives himself no option but to stay on. I mean, that's where we're at, really. He's, he's for trying to force the issue to make sure that he's got a bike that's competitive, to make sure that...